In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor calendar. This component allows users to select dates and navigate through months, years, decades, and centuries. Let's look at how to add a calendar to a project and customize it. I've already created a Blazor application that is configured to use DevExpress components. Now I add a DX calendar to the page and use the at bind attribute to bind the editor's selected date property to a date time data field that is declared in the at code block. The bind attribute allows you to implement two-way binding. This means when the editor is rendered, its value comes from the bound field. When a user changes the date in the calendar, the bound field is updated. To demonstrate this, I will output the selected date. Okay, this is my calendar. I can navigate through months and years. And here you can see if the selected date changes. As an alternative to two-way binding, you can specify the selected date property and create a handler for the selected date changed event. Okay, let's run the app. The calendar works as before. The changes are handled. The calendar component allows you to select multiple dates. I create another calendar and set the enable multi-select property to true. Then I define the selected dates collection and the get selected dates function that fill this collection when the calendar is initialized. Then I use the at bind attribute to bind the editor's selected dates property to this collection. I also add this code to demonstrate what dates are selected. Let's take a look at this in the browser. As you can see, multiple dates are initially selected. Here is a list of selected dates. I can clear the selection or select other dates with the control key pressed. Or select a range of dates with the left mouse button. The calendar also allows you to limit the range of available dates. To demonstrate this, I'll use my first calendar. I specify the min date and max date properties. The minimum date is January 1st. The maximum date is February 28th. The calendar disables dates that are out of the range and hides navigation arrows for them. You can also disable selection of specific dates based on custom logic. For example, I implement custom logic in the on custom disabled date function. The date property is used to determine the processed day. The is disabled property specifies whether the processed date is available. Now I specify the on custom disabled date function as a handler for the custom disabled date event. You can see that the available dates start from today and some days in February are disabled. Our Blazor calendar also allows you to customize day cells. To do this, I'll use the day cell template property. For example, I can customize the text, font, and color. To access the current date time object and its settings, I use the context parameter. And let's take a look at this in the browser. The font and color of dates changed. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime DevExpress releases new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.